This is the Lincoln Continental Black Label Trim Edition, and today we're going to take you on a review. Today we're working with our friends at Chuck's Faith Ford in beautiful New Ulm, Minnesota. Okay, so welcome to our detailed uh, review on the interior, and we're gonna start with the driver's information center. So this is an all digital display, and it is customizable. So the buttons I'm going to use to uh, change anything on this are the ones that are on the right side of the steering wheel, specifically this up and down, and this does push, this back button and the display button. So in order to get the, the, the menu to show up, I go to display first. And this, by the way, is a two, it's a two feature button. So you have display and then you have media. So I'll press it on the left side, okay? And then I get this to show up. And if I want to go into gauges, I press the okay button right on the top of this chrome piece, okay? So if I wanna go to, I can have speedometer, I can have, and then, then that's what it looks like. If I want to go to, just fuel economy, I can click down and then press OK again. And now I get fuel economy over here and sort of a, a ghosted out speedometer. And then I can go to display again, go to gauges, and I can go to uh, fuel or tack and gauges. Click that. And now I've got, again, I've got a different look. Still got your um, gas gauge at the bottom. You got your gear selector over here. Um, you have your RPM, your speedometer. This is your lane keeping assist and lane centering, which is turned on by a button just on the left end of this, uh, this control arm here. So if I turn it off, it disappears, turn it on, it, it centers or shows up. Okay, now if I, uh, well, first of all, over here on this side, I've got another display area that just says intelligent all wheel drive, gives you your, your compass direction, your time and your outdoor temperature. So I can change that too. If I go back to display and I go into, uh, not gauges, sorry. If I go into trip, uh, info, trip and fuel, okay. Now I can affect what shows up in my right window. So I, I can say I want trip one, press okay. And now trip one shows up there. Okay, and then you just press and hold the okay to reset it. Okay, if I go back into this same area. I can have trip two, I can have fuel economy. So I can press that and then I can put the fuel economy over on the right side as opposed to having it over on the left side. Go back in here again. If I wanna know tire pressure, I can look at that and see all four of my tires. Okay, we'll go back. You, we already saw the intelligent four wheel drive, so we keep going. I can actually select nothing. And then it shows up with a turbo gauge and the uh, engine temperature gauge. All right. If I press that again. Okay. And that is the end of my choices. So lots of different ways to customize this. All right, so if I want to do media, I press the right side of the display button and then up come my different sources. And I use that same Chrome button to go up and down, select the different ones. And if I want, say, FM, I just press OK. Then it brings me up to my different FM options. Okay, if I want FM1, I just press OK, find one of my presets, hit OK, and there it goes. The other options you have here, of course, are your phone off, your phone on, and then you have your navigation. So if I click, uh, navigation and settings, excuse me. So if I go to navigation, in my middle of my screen comes up my navigation options. So you wanna go to your home, previous destinations, favorites, uh, nearby POI, okay? You can just click okay, and then those will show up. So if I go to fuel here, 
and I just set one. Loss, be alert and use voice commands while driving. And so it shows up. Proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Okay. <laughs> that was a long sentence. All right. So then uh, your directions will show up over here on your dashboard. So you don't even have to look at your navigation screen if you don't want to. Okay. So if I would like to go to the settings, I can click the left side of this button. And now I've got a lot of the safety systems. So I got trash and control. And if I click on OK, it turns it off. So I'm going to click on the settings again. And I'm going to activate traction control. Okay, I'll go down to drive control. If I click OK, I can have I can set customize. How do I want it to handle and drive? How do I want it to handle in sport? And what's the performance in sport? So if I go to handling in D, I can select comfort, normal, or sport. Okay, I'm gonna use my back button here. If I want handling in sport, adjust that. I can actually have it set as normal handling in sport, but then my engine's sporty, but my handling's comfortable. So really kind of a very customizable um, area. Uh, performance in sport, I can have normal or sport. So if I select normal, then I have you know more sporty steering, but less uh, sport in the throttle. So lots of ways to customize this, okay? Driver assistance, if I click okay here, now I get blind spot, cross traffic, cruise control, driver alert, lane keeping system, and the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Okay, and any one of these, if I want to say, turn it on or off, it'll have a check mark. So cross traffic alert, if I just press okay, the check mark disappears. Okay, and let's go back to settings here in a minute, go to um, driver assistance. All right, uh, I of course wanna turn that back on, so I'm gonna keep it there. And if I go to something like cruise control, where there's no check mark, then if I press okay, I get some uh, options. You can set your cruise control to be adaptive or non-adaptive, just normal cruise control through that function. Okay, let's go down here again. You can have you set your speedometer, speedometer for kilometers per hour or miles per hour. And then under advanced settings, okay, you can have set up um, uh, things for the vehicle, like your alarm, your auto engine off, auto fold mirrors, uh, easy entry exit, your lighting, uh, your locks, your oil life, power deck lid, remote start, windows, and wipers. Okay, so just a lot of things under there. Okay, you can set up my key, which Ford has. If you're familiar with that, um, and that that will set some some settings in your car for you, so it automatically recognizes your key fob and uh, does certain things for you. Okay, I'll go back one. And then you have the display set up. So you can have distance, temperature, tire pressure, and language that you can look at. So if I go to uh, display, say distance, I can have miles or gallons, kilometers and liters, kilometers and kilometers slash liters. Um, so, I mean, just lots of ways to customize Fahrenheit or Celsius. So tons and tons of ways to customize this. All right. So. Um, I am going to just go back here for a minute on the left side and just to show you that um, if you have adaptive cruise control on, this is where you increase the gap and this is where you decrease the gap. Okay, that being said, let's take a look at the infotainment screen. So um, we've already covered these buttons here. So I'm just gonna talk about the screen itself for a minute. Um, again, this is a 19 speaker Revel Ultima audio system and it sounds absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's say that I wanna to go to the home screen. Well, you have a picture of a house up here, so you just click on that, okay? Now I've got my icons at the bottom right here, audio, climate, phone, navigation, apps, settings, okay? and you can see your navigation up here as well as your media and then whatever when your phone's connected you can see that here so really three screens in one hey if i press audio button there i get my um i can click on sources i can select a different preset and i can also use my left steering wheel arrows and i can go between different presets right and then, of course, I can raise or lower the volume from my steering wheel or from right here. 
climate. Although everything is a physical touch button, um, you can use a digital screen if you want. About the only button that is not physical is this button up here. So if I select dual, now I can change just duals on. Okay, so uh, let's, let's, if I hit dual, there it goes. If it's lit like that, now I can change the individual sides. Um, that particular button is not a physical button. All right, let's, uh, and if I just click that off, everything goes back to the same. All right, moving over here, of course, you have your phone, which I have, don't have anything connected, but that's where your phone stuff would show up. Navigation, okay, you have lots of different things in here that you can set. Uh, and if you basically, if you go into your menu, you can affect your screen view, traffic list, navigation settings. You wanna just know where am I? That's a nice button, it just tells you where you are. You can view your route, you can cancel a route from here, okay? Um, if I want to see uh, my settings, I can go over here, okay? And then that brings up the, the full screen of icons. So if I want to adjust the bass or the sound or anything, I go into there. I got all my adjustments right here. I got a few more options down here. Okay, it does have speed compensated volume, which I like to have on, but we'll leave it off for, for now. Um, you have uh, your clock. So you have, um, you can adjust that right there. Again, a few more settings. Um, Bluetooth, can, oh, I won't go in there, but you can connect your Bluetooth device, your phone, the radio, um, navigation, we'll just go back in that same screen we have. Any mobile apps that, that you would have that would show through here would come up right here. And then you have a general button, which then again allows you to change, uh, you know, some of the basic things like what the language and the, you know, if you want kilometers or miles and that kind of stuff. Okay. If I, uh, there are three little dashes down here. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> three little dashes. That means there's three more screens of buttons. So if I swipe, I get the 911 assist, which will automatically call 911 if you're in an accident. You got your Wi-Fi settings, your Android auto preferences. Um, you can uh, affect the display here, voice control, valet mode, ambient lighting, and then multi-contour seats. Now, let's talk about a couple of these. First of all, your display button. Okay, you, this is where you can affect the brightness or dimness of your actual infotainment screen. And then if you go into uh, ambient lighting, this is where you can choose the colors for your ambient lighting in your vehicle. And then you can set the intensity uh, with that. Okay. Last one I'll go on this screen is the vehicle settings. Uh, this is where you can reset your door keypad code, your camera settings. And then if you wanna know your onboard modem serial number, you can click on there. Okay. And go over to one more here, multi-contour seats. So you can push the button there if you want. However, all you have to do, let's just go to home for a minute, is press any one of the, the, the buttons that control your massaging seats, which are over here on the door, just like they were in the rear. And you can adjust um, your, oops, Okay, you can adjust the, using the plus and minus buttons, you can adjust the uh, lumbar. And again, it's, it's, we're on the driver's side right now, and you can see this olive color piece, that's what we're affecting. I can go down to the next area and adjust that. I can go down to this area and adjust. And then if I go down here, I've got these bottom bolsters on my left and right. And then I go all the way down the bottom and adjust these bolsters here. And you really do feel them when you adjust them. And if I wanna do the passengers, I can, I can just click over there and I, um, the pastor then has to do that from their side. Um, but all you have to, you don't have to actually go into the screen. You just press the buttons and it pops up automatically, which I think is really nice. So those are some of the really cool features on these 30-way power seats. Almost infinite adjustment. Just amazing. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is just over here on the door, uh, again, all these controls. I like it that they put the power seat controls up in the door. So this one right here does your headrest. And... You can actually not only raise and lower your headrest, but you can push your headrest forward or backwards. Okay, over here, this looks like one button, but it's two. So the top part of your seat will actually tilt forward and give your back, and raise your back a little bit. And then, then this bottom piece raises the whole seat like you would normally think of a, a you know, reclining button. 
then over here, of course, you got forward and back, and you've got up and down, and um, it works just like a, 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 you would think it would. Over here, on the uh, driver and passenger side, you do have thigh support underneath your leg. So this is the left side out, left side in, right side out, right side in. So you can give your left leg more support than you do your right leg or vice versa. All right, so another feature on this is, of course, the camera. So this does have the 360 surround. So if I hit, if I hit uh, reverse, Okay, you can see the backup camera here. You can see the 360 view here. And then if I click here, I have, that's my 360 view. I can go over here. I can have the whole screen now. So I get rid of some of the boxes and stuff. If I go over here, I can have a little, uh, uh, it's a wider view. It kind of splits into three zones, um, but it gives you um, a much wider view left and right. And then you see all the sensor zones in the front and rear of the vehicle, okay? Now, you can also access this um, if you're in park and you, use, you can press the camera button and it won't show up in this screen because the car's not in reverse or drive, but it will show you the 360. All right, so in the back of this car, this has the rear seat package and, and it is, got a lot of extra options as compared to not having that option. So here we go. First of all, you've got powered rear seats. So this button here will recline your back seat for you, the back of your seat. These two buttons will control the passenger seat in front of you. So if you want more leg room and there's no one sitting there, you can shove the seat forward. You can bring it back closer to you. You can tilt the back forward. You can tilt the back towards you. Uh, so you can make uh, just, you know, tons of adjustments as far as legroom and footroom go. Okay. These buttons up here all control your massaging functions. Functions. So this turns the massaging uh, system on or off. Okay. And if you do that, you can then use these cursors and the plus and minus to adjust it. Now, you have to look at the LCD display screen. So as you're looking at that, I'll be pushing the button. So the first thing I do is I just touch the massaging seat button and you can notice right away that this comes on. And I can use my up and down arrows to toggle between, do I want the upper lumbar here, the massaging part or the lower part? And I can turn it then to high or low using my plus or minus buttons and I can actually turn it off if I want to. And I can do that for either uh, back or bottom. Okay. Now let's say I don't want the massaging seat. And I just want lumbar. If I press that massaging seat button again, and you wait a second, it comes up with top, middle, and lower lumbar. So each one of these has an adjustment. So if I go up at the top, you can see the uh, sort of the olive colored um, area. And if I press the plus button, you can see that increasing, and boy, you can sure feel it in your back, okay? And then you can just go to the next one, and you can adjust that with a plus or minus button, and then you can go more, one more down, and you can adjust the lower. So multiple ways to adjust the seats, and this applies to both the passenger side and the driver's side. The only difference is between the two is that on the passenger side, you can push the uh, passenger seat forward or, or uh, recline it. Okay, now, moving down a little bit off the doors for a second, you do have your media buttons right here. So you have a source button to switch between your different sources. You've got a, like a next button or a back button to go to, through radio stations. Um, you've got a volume, okay? And the volume is throughout the whole entire car. It's all the speakers. You also have a, an outdoor temperature display as well as the time up here. Okay, moving on down here, you've got for your climb control, you've got fan speed. You've got your three-stage heated or three-stage cooled seats, which I am gonna turn off today because it is cold. You can turn it to uh, auto climate if you want. You've got your different modes for where you want the air to come through. And then you've got, of course, your uh, passenger side heated and cooled seats. And then this is where you adjust the temperature. So just, I mean, 
Wow, and I really like having everything right in the center armrest where you don't have to reach forward and touch anything. You can do it right from the comfort of your seat. Okay, last part here is the power shade control. So this, these two buttons are for your panoramic uh, sunroof. So you can put the shade backwards, you can put it forwards, or you can take the rear shade and put it up or down. Okay, the, uh, there are shades in the windows. Those are manual and they kind of hook from the front. So if you go up and tilt it, then you can get it right in there. And it's really nice to have that, uh, that availability of having those window shades right there. All right, and there is the fantastic rear seat.